It's 651 and here's a quick look at the top stories this morning ahead of Good Morning America. Right now there are tens of thousands of job openings across Colorado. And some companies are trying to draw more people in by offering higher pay. Denver 7's Nicole Brady joins us and Nicole, this could help our rebound now, but what about in the long run? Well, higher wages now could mean higher prices later, which would diminish the purchasing power for all of us, no matter income level. Uh, it is a proven fact that every time you uh, increase the wage, uh, the, uh, there is a double edge sword. I spoke to Professor Akishore Kulkarni in the economics department at MSU Denver. He says we could be seeing signs of what's called the wage price spiral, where wages rise and then prices rise and then wages have to go up more and it just keeps going. Other economists are also predicting companies will raise prices in the coming months and years because wages are sticky. Uh, unlike other costs like raw materials which fluctuate, uh, sticky means that once you pay a higher wage, you can't easily go back to lower pay for that same job. But Kulkarni believes as things get back to normal in our economy, supply and demand for labor will balance out and employers may even shed jobs. Companies, obviously, they are in a race to hire right now, uh, but the things don't work out, they will fire them too. Just, and we know that from pandemic, that that's what will happen. And he said the fact that companies are starting to pay over $15 an hour for some of these entry level jobs, that's not a bad thing. He says the people hurt most by the pandemic were low wage earners, while higher income workers were more likely to keep their jobs and work from home.